Justin Schumacher with Citadel Defense. And today we're going to talk about the first tactical Ascend messenger bag. Now this is my has been my EDC bag here for the past couple months and uh, I've really been enjoying using it so I thought I would share it with you. Um, overall it's a really good bag. I think they're going for about a hundred bucks right now and uh, I really have enjoyed it and, and would recommend it to you. Couple cons which we'll talk about here but overall a uh, high high quality bag. So uh, on the outside here you have this uh, little field of velcro that's also molly. This is really decorative molly and, and by that I mean I don't no, you could put a pouch there if you really wanted, but I think it's mostly just for decoration and because it looks cool and so you can have a little patch on it. Uh, got their logo and a little rubberized thing right there. Uh, they have these two identical huge dump pouches uh, up front. So in this one, I typically carry stuff like uh, an extra knife, my phone charger, my headphones, just some random, you know, stuff that I need to access a lot all in there. Uh, over here, this is my medical, so I carry, uh, I got an Israeli bandage in there. I'll pull this all out so you can see, and a tourniquet and some gloves, and another trauma bandage all in here. And there's still room in here. Um, you can still stuff quite a bit more in there. That's just what I happen to have in there. These, I, these are just big, big pockets. Um, which is nice to be able to dump in anything you might need. Uh, right here, this is that typical kind of fleece line sunglass, uh, sunglasses and glasses pouch that goes in the top bags. I still keep my glasses in my case because this is how I like to roll. Um, but again, a generous, generous pocket. When you get over here to the handle, uh, it is, and I think you'll be able to see this here, but I mean, they, they did, they did a lot of stitching in here. This is a heavily reinforced handle. Um, you could even put, tie something through a couple of these loops if you really wanted. Um, you can definitely attach something there. Uh, on the back of the bag, do that next. It has a luggage loop, so you can feed it through your luggage if you're going through airports a lot. Uh, this pouch I really like. So first of all, this is double zippered, which is cool. So you can access it from either side. That opens up, and uh, it's just a pretty simple drop pouch back here. Uh, right now, I keep, I have a couple of receipts in there. Uh, right now, I keep the uh, cross body strap in there, which I'll talk about that in a minute. But the reason I like this pouch is because, uh, like I said, if you just open this up, this is a dump, dump pouch. But this Velcro portion here, if you Velcro this open on the back wall, and I think you should be able to see that here, is a field of Velcro. So this is where you could attach your concealed carry or something. Now this does not have Velcro on it, but this is a, a G17 with a TLR1 in a holster. And that will easily, easily fit in there. Um, and you could match that up. So you could, you could put an easily a full-size handgun, maybe two in there. But the thing I like about it is, if you were to utilize this feature, you can have this zipped up. And if for whatever reason, um, someone were actually to unzip this, which I don't know why they're unzipping your bag, but even if they did that, they wouldn't immediately know that there's a gun in here. It's, it's a very hidden compartment. And uh, I just like that feature a lot. I think that's well designed, well thought out, and, and just a really, really cool feature. On the sides of the bag, you have these two identical uh, pouches. So first of all, they give you a little bit of molly here. Now this is a little bit more functional. Uh, I think you could really attach a pouch to that if you wanted and you could have a, a functional side pouch. Uh, but they're gusseted and zipped so they can expand. And I will say, so it has this kind of, what I would call a thin mesh, a little elastic top. And when I first saw these, I thought they were pretty weak. I thought they were going to shred. I thought they weren't going to work that well. But I've been carrying my one liter water bottle on this side, uh, which again, it easily swallows that for a couple months now and there's no wear, there's no tear, it's holding up just fine. So, you know, apparently they work. And you can carry two water bottles or whatever you want to do, and if you don't need them, what I like about them, like I mentioned, is that you can zip them up and so it, it holds flush to the bag. I just think that's a well thought out design. On the body strap itself, uh, it's very thickly padded. It's got these two kind of stick points that are supposed to, uh, you know, stick to your clothing or whatever. That works pretty well. It doesn't do a lot of slipping on my shoulder. I do like that it's a free float um, pad so that the, the bag can still move on the pad a little bit. I like it when bags do that. I think that's a, a good design rather than it being melded to the pad and it pulling on the pad if you don't have it perfectly centered on your shoulder. 
I think that's a well thought out and, and good design there. For the for the straps themselves, these are completely removable if you want. Uh, you can pop that off and you could slide this whole thing out and take the whole cross body strap off. I have not utilized that feature, but if you want to and you just want to utilize the handle, you could do that. That's a cool idea. The cross body strap I did not have attached right now, but like I mentioned, uh, it was I store it in the bag. But this thing slides through one of these two little loops down here on the ends. And then of course the other end attaches uh, back to the cross body strap, it's, or back, back to the main strap itself via this little loop thing here. It can attach from either side. Uh, I just don't use it that often, so I just store it away in the bag. If you like it, that's cool. Okay, opening up the bag here, you have these two buckles on the front, and they're protected with this elastic cover, which is kind of nice. Um, I, I don't think you're gonna accidentally activate these buckles, but it's nice to have a cool elastic cover thing there. You do have the option of closing this with Velcro. So if you'll see here on the cover, this is just tape because I wrote my name and phone number and email there in case my bag gets lost and you don't need to know my name and phone number because you're a creeper. So <clears throat> what I like about this is uh, it has these Velcro covers. So you can cover these up or you can expose them. And what these will do is they'll tuck away right in here like this. So they can tuck away just in there like that. And then when you close the bag, it will attach via Velcro. Now, I didn't like that because I got sick of hearing that sound, so I usually just will leave these closed, but if you want to close the bag via Velcro, you can. What's cool about that is you can just close it, it'll Velcro shut, and then you can easily pick it up by this handle here just on the Velcro alone, uh, the Velcro will hold. So that is a nice feature. So like I said, you open this bag up, and then you got two large kind of dump pouches here, which I right now just have a little mini worthless multi-tool in, uh, my watch, because I took that off the other day, and a little notepad. And this is just stuff that I keep in here. Again, tons more room. You could really pack those out if you wanted. Now here is where we're gonna get to one of the cons of things I don't like as much about this bag. Uh, right here, on this side you have a couple holders for pens, which is great. A little pocket here, a little pocket here, and a nice, decent pocket in the back. But the con is, is that up here is your uh, key fob holder thing. It's just this nylon loop. Now, the bag comes with this first tactical kind of key fob thing, which is great. I love it. I use it all the time. I leave my keys on it. But the way it attaches in here is this hook uh, attaches this nylon loop. And it's just because it's a soft loop, it's just not as easy to attach. I would have liked to have seen a hard plastic loop here. That would have just made that easier on and off. Uh, and because it's buried a couple levels in the bag, I just never use it. I usually get to work and I'll just throw my keys either in my coat pocket or, or in something else. And I won't usually store them in here because it's just a lot to get in here. Now, look, I technically could access this pocket from a, a closed, uh, the front of the bag being closed. I could technically access this pocket, fumble around in here, find the keys, and, and you take them and go, right? But then I still have this open pocket, I gotta zip that back up. It just, I just don't like the way that that works. Uh, that being said, it's perfectly functional. If you need to store your keys for a while, uh, this can definitely work for you. So like I mentioned, a couple pockets here, a couple holds, a couple pens and stuff like that. On the other side, it's ever so slightly different. Uh, they have just a couple wider pockets over here. And then again, that big back uh, pouch that's wide open over there. So slightly different design. I like it in general. They have a, a hard point key fob here. And you could say, Dylan, why don't you just use that one? But again, it's the same problem. It's buried deep inside the bag, and I don't like that. Again, I just want to emphasize, this is a big bag. There's still tons more room in here that I don't utilize, that you could utilize if you really need to. Another feature I really like about this bag is this pocket right here. Again, this is a double zipped uh, pocket, which is great. And this is just really a great document pouch. So if you have papers or books, I have some file folders in here now. Uh, those will fit great. If you have anything you want to protect from getting bent, I suggest you don't put it in there because it will bend with the bag. So that's why I tend to leave some folders in there just to hard side it a little bit so my papers don't get all wonky on me. But that is a really cool feature of this bag. I think this is a great pocket. I use it all the time. I'm getting into the main compartment here. The main compartment, again, it's huge. 
Um, I usually will stuff my lunch box in here uh, when I go to when I go to school. When I go to work, I'll stuff my lunch bag in here. So that's really nice. I, I really like that feature. I like to be able to stuff everything in here that I'm gonna carry for the day. So right now I have my winter gloves. I just got home from work and I came up here to do this video. So I have my gloves in there. It has these very these three large dump pouches up front, which I really like. Uh, here is a Maxpedition pouch. Uh, this is a great pouch. I should do a review on this at some point. But that goes in my center one. I got a little medical pouch here with some vitamins and uh, some Listerine. Just stuff that over there. And then in this one over here, I just got my pair of mechanics gloves. So again, tons more room. Uh, those are not full. It's just what I keep in there right now. Into the main compartment, again, you got a big open spot. So I got a couple books I'm reading. Uh, a couple papers and a notebook, some batteries because I bought some batteries today, and uh, a pouch for my Leatherman that is in here for whatever reason. Okay, so again, it's a, it's a very large. I think you'll be able to see that there. Main compartment. I mean, you can you could probably fit an SBR in here um, for sure if it, you took it apart, but assembled you could it would probably fit. It, it's a large, large bag. They do Velcro again on that back wall, which I really like, and then. There's another pouch here, so this this will Velcro shut if you want, and you can put your computer. This is a padded compartment for your computer if you want to carry a work computer. Uh, I think a 17 inch would fit. I don't have one to test, but I'm pretty sure it would fit in there. It's, it's a big, big compartment. And then again, they have two big drop dump compartments right here. For one, uh, I keep my prayer journal in that one, and this one I don't keep anything in right now. But massive, massive bag. Now, I did look it up. Uh, all the zippers are YKK zippers. Uh, the bag itself is 1,500 denier nylon. I am guessing that the 1,000 is all the exterior because it's a very, very tough material. material. And then, uh, of course, Duraflex buckles. So, I mean, all the, the big name boys are there, right? And all the, the high quality stuff is there. And you can beat the tar out of this thing and it's, it's gonna keep on ticking. It really, really is a great bag that, that I would recommend. What I like about it is also its potential greatest uh, fault which is its size the fact that it's huge I love the fact that I can just put uh, whatever I want in here for my day and, I, and it's gonna fit and I can have it in one bag and I don't have to carry multiple bags I hate carrying multiple bags that being said this thing will get heavy uh, so if you commute on the bus or on the train or something like that uh, this thing will, will wear in you even with this nice nice thick pad uh, just given the fact that it's so big, it can pretty easily get heavy and weigh on you. So if you got a lot of walking to do, I, I don't know if it'd be necessarily the best bag for you. You might want to look at like a backpack or something like that. But for just in the car or for just short walks and being able to carry everything you need to the office and back, this is hands down your bag. It, I like the fact too that, you know, if you wanted, it has a, a pretty uh, professional feel. Um, you know, there's not a lot of molly hanging out. There's a couple little decorative points here and there but nothing that's like, it would make it look out of place in like a boardroom or something like that. It just looks like a smart, modern messenger bag. And in that sense, it, it can fill a lot of roles for you and doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, it's not necessarily the most tactical look, but at the same time, it's, it's got a little bit, little just a little hint of tactical flair. It's kind of like a pop punk back in the day. You know, it's not full punk, but it's got a little edge, so you're interested. So that's it, that's the Ascend messenger bag. Uh, like I said, I really enjoy it. I've been using it for a couple months. I'm gonna continue to use it until I wear it out, which I'm sure is gonna be years from now. So other than that, do brave deeds and endure.